Awesome. I'll be there in just a second. So what we want to do, there's two different ways to kind of graph. The most important way as far as our graphing is to put the, rewrite this in slope-intercept form. Remember, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. And what's important about that is m represents the slope, b represents the y-intercept. Now, what is the difference between the y-intercept and the slope? The y-intercept is the coordinate point on where the graph crosses the y-axis. There's the y-axis. There's the x-axis. So the, y at, the y-intercept is a point that's on the y-axis. So it's a coordinate point. Okay. The slope, remember, is the ratio between the change in y-coordinates over the change in x-coordinates, which a lot of times people like to just simplify as rise over run. But it's really more than that. But it's important that slope is the ratio. So let's go and look again at this equation. What we want to do is solve this equation for y. So I subtract 2x on both sides. y equals 3 minus 2x, right? But a lot of times we don't like to skip this step because I don't want to write. I want to make it look like this. So I'm going to switch those around and just write it as y equals negative 2x plus 3. OK? Now, notice how I talked about slope as a fraction. Right, Rise over run. It's a ratio. You're comparing the change in y coordinates over the change of x coordinates. So every single time you have slope that's not already a fraction, make it a fraction by putting it over 1. Okay. Now, so here's my y-intercept. Remember, I mentioned y-intercept is a point where that's the y-coordinate and that's your x-coordinate. So I can rewrite that as 0, 3. Now, the ratio of slope. Make sure you understand that negative 2 over 1 is equal to 2 over negative 1. Do you agree with me these are all the same? But please note that this is not the same. Negative driving negative is positive. So you can either make the negative up top or the negative up bottom. But you're going to want to distribute the negative to one of the others. Okay? So how do we graph this? Again, the y-intercept is a point, 0, 3. So you don't go left or right, you go up 3. 1, 2, 3. Now, as far as dealing with the slope, what you're going to do is remember this is, um, once you choose where you want your negative to be, either top or the bottom, this is the change in the y-coordinates. The change in the y-coordinates between any two points is negative 2. So y-coordinates is up and down, so I'm going to go down 2 units. Then the change in the x-coordinates is positive 1. So down 2 over 1. That's my next point. And you can continue that process as many times as you want. But you only need to do it once. And there's your graph. OK?